12 years ago, I started teaching others how to trade just for the heck of it. And it ended up turning into a business. A few years ago, I started a trading coach podcast just for fun. And it ended up turning into another revenue stream. So here's the thing. If I can do it and you guys know me, then anyone can. Find something you're passionate about, share your knowledge or your experiences, and start a show using Spotify. Why Spotify? Well, because they make it super easy to record, edit, schedule, and monetize all from your computer or even your phone. And best of all, it's free. So get started today at Spotify.com slash podcasters or download the Spotify for Podcasters app. And hey, if you need any help with podcast ideas or topics, let me know. I'll help you out. Hey guys, Gil Stokes here. Welcome back to the Trading Coach Podcast. I got an episode for you covering one of your favorite topics and one of the most frequent questions that we get. Akil, Jason, can you give us some book recommendations? Yes, we can. Um, We're big fans of having a growth mindset, continued education, continued development. Books, courses, YouTube videos won't make you a successful trader, but if you pick the right ones, they can certainly play a big role. So in today's episode of the Trading Coach Podcast, I'm going to share with you one of the trader coffee break episodes that Jason and I had, where we talk about some classic books that we would recommend to new traders looking for help in becoming successful. So the second part of the question, um, Because in this podcast, I did talk about kind of going back, my journey to going back to the basics and and kind of always being a a student of the game. And I know you've done the same, Jason, was um, he asked me, what are some uh, old school books that I read to um, build your understanding of price action and and, and whatnot? And I found a few books. I'm not sure if you read any of these. This would be interesting to see if you did or not. I tried to pick ones that we don't often talk about. I think we mentioned um, in the last episode, Trade What You You See was at the last, I think in the... I think we mentioned that in the last episode. These episodes kind of run together, but that's a really good book. So I'm not going to bring that up again purposely because we just discussed it. Um, I'm going to save one of Jason's favorites till last. But one book that I read, this isn't really old school, but just referring to kind of price action and going back to my journey of of learning price more was Diary of a Professional Commodity Trader by Peter Brandt. Um, Underrated book. Um, Peter Brandt is someone I look up into the industry because he's a a classic chartist. Yep. And this was basically a diary, a journal. So the same thing that we're telling you here, where we're being kind of fully transparent, the same thing we do in the live room where it's not like, hey, let's just pick winners and show it to you. We're showing you the ups and downs, the goods and bads, like, ah, I missed targets by a pipper. Ah, I got stopped out and reversed or ah, I missed the trade because I wasn't paying attention. This book was kind of like that, where he was very transparent about his journey. And he mentioned like mistakes he made. He was like, yeah, I got into this trade. I wasn't supposed to, but I did it anyway. And like, you know, I, I think it was really cool for me to see like, hey, professional traders are still human beings. We still mess up. We still go through emotional responses. Um, but how we deal with those are important instead of just like yeah. forgetting it never happened, admitting it, accepting it. So this was a, a cool read for me. A little bit biased because I'm a big Peter Brandt fan, but that was a cool read for me. I don't know where to put this thing. Another one, technical analysis and stock market profits, right? This is a classic. It probably has a a different cover than uh, what you're used to. Um, but this is by Richard uh, Scheibacher. This is kind of classic technical analysis, classic chart patterns, head and shoulders, uh, pennants, breakouts, kind of classic charting stuff. So if you like classic charting stuff, check this one out. Another one is ooh, technical analysis using multiple time frames. I believe this is by Brandon Shannon. Brian Shannon, Brian Shannon, um, again, going back into the journey of we both use multi uh, multi time frame analysis in our in our trading. So I went back and looked at this one as well. One more, the godfather of candlesticks. That's what he was called. Steve Neeson got the right name. I think it was called Japanese candlestick charting techniques. Um, Just going back to just the basics of reading an individual candle, the story that it tells you and whatnot. And then we got one of Jason's classic. This is a little bit different than um, the technical stuff, but I know you know this one, Jason. Yeah. The intelligent investor. Yeah. <laughs> Good little Bible here. Yeah. <laughs> for Great value effort. investing and, and again, simple, basic, not like complicated strategies, more I like to call it common sense stuff, just like find, <laughs> just it, simplify yeah. it, I, yeah, I guess yeah. you can say. Yeah, sure. That, those, so, those, I mean, they're great great books to uh great book choices i would say with the with the candlestick thing with all of them just 
you know, don't take them as literal. Like it's like yes. science. It's it's always someone's opinion and someone uh, mm -hmm. someone's own journey and someone's own research. So when you read these books, I tend to take pieces from them and kind of synthesize the information with what I've learned and how I can apply it. And, you know, don't, don't take it all as gospel. Don't try yes. and go, don't go right. Okay. I've learned that. I've got to do that now. Cause you'll just end up chasing lots of different, um, rabbit holes. Whereas if you just read with an open mind and you synthesize the information, uh, you can really learn a lot and really, um, build a lot of discretion as a trader because you're you're basically getting all of the knowledge and experiences from these people that have put their life's work into a a five hour read or whatever <laughs> which is just it blows my mind still that people aren't reading books but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing you know, the, it takes the world, too long man it takes, it takes too long, long yeah, to five read hours. a book guys but... spent 45 years putting the book together you know <laughs> i was saying yeah there we go but no that, that's a that's a very good point because i i think and and you know, we always like continued education. We, we map out a, a specific portion of our year to do that. And I love what you said about the open mindedness, because you don't want to just like take this as gospel and say, oh, I need to do everything exactly the way this person does it. Right. I think one of the values in going back, and this is why I love kind of going back to books after I kind of already had a, a kind of an idea of, of how I'm trading, because you go through it, you read and you read these five hour books. And maybe you take like one thing, right? Everything's like, ah, okay, I know that already. I've seen that. Ah, oh, no, I tried that. Not for me. But maybe you find one little chapter where it's like, huh? Yeah. Didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. And then you go off on this journey, like, how can I implement that into what I'm doing? And you find like this one little puzzle piece, this one little kind of cog, fits into your your bigger trading gearbox, and then like it can help take you to the next exactly. level. And like, I don't mind it at all. Like I will read a book if I can find one valuable thing, whether it's something new that I learned or something that reaffirms something I already knew, or it's just something that I was curious about. I'm like, oh, that's a cool bit of information I can use. Then it was a plus. Yeah. So I think a lot of people think books are waste because it's like, they're expecting it to change their life forever. Yeah. It's like, I read this book or I, I take this training course and I'll come out as a super trader where the, the honest the honesty is like, you take what a little bit from it but those little bits over time improve what you're doing. So I, yeah, go into a book with an open mind, just looking to learn and, and get what you get from it. But it's not going to, no book will change your life. Um, no. No, no book you, will change your life. Yeah. Uh, how you, how you implement the information, that's what's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. Not uh, reading and praying that it's just going to somehow <laughs> miraculously get you to where you want to be. You have to actually do the work. You have to learn. And as it kind of rounds off to the, the subject of this this show is the success is being able to just do that journey you know learn adapt grow implement action learn more that's success success is actually being on that path and uh the results just get better and better from from that point on before you go, if you have any book recommendations that you want to share, feel free to share them with me. Also, if you are interested in a certain book, maybe covering a, a certain trading related subject, let me know and I'll get you the answer. If you guys have seen any of my videos, I have a massive library of books, so I always love giving recommendations. You can shoot me a message on social media at KillStokesRTM. If you're watching this on YouTube, just leave it in the comment section below. And if you're listening on Spotify, there should be a Q&A section where you can uh, write some stuff in there and I can read it. All right. Until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Hope this was insightful and I'll see you guys next episode.